Okay, what I have here is a clean install of the Cyanogen Mod 7 um, version 15. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. And before we start that, um, I'll show you how to do an Android backup of the NAND Flash <clears throat> using NV Flash. Um, you don't want to use do your backup with Clockwork Mod Recovery because um, uh, doing a backup with that, um, it's called a fake flash, and uh, it doesn't actually do an entire backup. So if you break your phone, if you break your phone, then uh, you're out of luck. But if you use the NV flash method and you break your phone, then you'll be able to uh, just boot it right into recovery and um, restore, you know, any ROM you want to. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put uh, the stock version of the phone back on there uh, so it'll be just like you guys and then I'll proceed to do the NV flash backup and then um, be ready to install Cyanogen mod. Now to get started we're going to need to download the one click G2X recovery flash uh, little kit here and um, here's the URL it's at it's at multi upload um, so just go ahead and you know pick one and download I just did the direct download and when you unzip it you'll get the two folders like this okay the first thing you need to do when doing the Nandroid backup is to first remove the battery from the phone and then plug your USB into the phone now while holding the up and down power buttons or volume buttons plug it into the computer and keep holding them until you get um, a pop-up saying something about uh, the device being found and um, don't worry if it says the driver was unsuccessful because we're going to install that manually okay the next step is to navigate to device manager and then if you go down to where it says other devices, it should have APX with the exclamation point saying, um, you know, it just means the device isn't installed properly. Right click it and hit update driver software. Um, browse to that folder we extracted earlier. It should have the two folders APX and NV flash inside. Okay, here it is. And once you get there, you can just choose the main folder here one click G2X recovery flash and hit OK and proceed and if you get uh, the security um, notification here hit install it anyway it's fine it's trusted And here we go, uh, we got the driver installed successfully. Next, unplug the phone from the computer. You hear the beep, just wait a few seconds and plug it back in. Next, navigate back to our folder, um, go into NV Flash and find one click recovery flasher.exe right click it if you're using uh, X or uh, if you're using Vista or um, Windows 7 you need to run as administrator and hit yes okay when this opens um, it might first give you a warning um, just follow what it says if not that's great I'm just gonna give you three choices uh, flash clockwork mod test 2 Flash Clockwork Mod 3.0.2.7 in this case and Flash Stock. Now before you click anything you're going to need to unplug the phone again and then again hold the volume up and down buttons and plug the phone back in but keep holding the buttons. Mm -hmm. Keep holding them for this next step. Now click the middle button Flash Clockwork Mod uh, 3.0.2.7 now once your phone says SW upgrade, please wait while upgrading, you can let go of the buttons. And it says it was successful, 
so you can press any key to continue. Now you can just wait a few seconds and then go ahead and unplug the phone and it'll just shut off. Go ahead and put the battery back in. Now we can turn the phone back on but don't just use the power button. Use power, uh, first hold uh, volume down and then hold the power button. I'm still holding both and then let go when that um, Android word appears and now you've entered um, the recovery and here's what your menu should look like alright now you might be thinking well this is just the same as before when I open clockwork recovery mod clockwork while recovery and say uh, reboot into recovery and this is what I get but the th yeah that is essentially the same but um, what happens is when you get this phone stock um, and it has a built-in recovery and so when you hit when you turn it on with power and volume down it's just going to automatically um, say everything to stock and uh, install that recovery and we don't want that so now we have it changed when we hit power and volume down it's going to boot into this so you know while we're fucking with our phones and say you brick it then you can always turn it on and get into recovery instead of um, you know just getting screwed over so that's why so now to create a quick backup um, we can navigate using the up and down volume buttons go down to backup and restore and use the power button to you know say enter and top one's backup, hit enter, and it's going to do its thing and backup to your SD card. Um, just make sure you have enough space on your SD card. I think my backups are around. Um, oh, here we go. My previous backup was uh, 6333 megabytes, and subtract 5730, and what is that? About 600 megabytes for the entire backup. So, depending on how much stuff you have in your phone, um, Make sure you have enough space on your SD card to complete the backup. Okay, the backup was successful. Now we can reboot our phone so that we can hook it up to our computer and access the SD card. Alright, once your phone's back on, go ahead and plug it in. And turn on storage because we'll need to drag the file to the SD card. Okay, now we're going to download the latest nightly build of the Cyanogen Mod 7. Um, here's the URL, download.cyanogenmod.com. Um, and actually, if you just go there, you can find our device on the left. Um, ours is the P999 or the P990. The P990 is for the LG Optimus 2X. The P999 is for the T-Mobile G2X. And so there's a difference. I'm going to choose the P999 because I have the G2X. And looks like the latest is 15. So I'll go ahead and download that. Okay, and so navigate to the SD card on your phone in Windows. Um, and then take the zip you just downloaded and you don't need to extract it just put it in uh, your SD card anywhere you want to just somewhere you can find it I made a folder here for it and once it's on the SD card you can go ahead and unplug your phone so from now here on out we'll be working just on the phone And actually, before you unplug it, just to let you know, the NV Flash doesn't um, back up what's on your SD card, so it doesn't hurt to just go ahead and make a backup on your computer. And so now, effectively, what this is doing um, is you have a backup of your entire SD card, which also includes the um, 
backup of the phone we just made because we put that in the SD card as well. So now we really have two copies of everything. Now once your backup is completed, go ahead and disconnect your phone, power it off, and then boot in recovery by holding volume down and power. And remember to hold it until the little orange Android word appears. Okay, now we're ready to install the Cyanogen Mod 7. Alright, you might be wondering what's going on here. What's happening is called boot loop. And this happens if you don't clear the cache uh, before you install Cyanogen Mod. I just wanted to show you this. Um, and it's funny too because you can't even hold power to shut it off um, and the only way to get it to actually turn the phone off is to go ahead and unplug the battery or un uh, take the battery out so now the phone's off now we need to wipe the data and cache from coming from a stock system and if you're up creating from Cyanogen Mod 6, say, or a different nightly of 7, you would have already done this, so you wouldn't need to do it again. And to do this, we're going to boot into recovery like we did, holding volume down and power until the orange Android word comes up. And then go down to wipe data factory reset. Hit enter and scroll down to yes. And this is fine because we just made a backup and we have a backup of our backup and so forth. So go ahead. Okay. And that was successful. I always like to do a reboot. So let's go ahead and reboot. Okay, now we've rebooted back into recovery and we are ready to install the CyanogenMod. mod. So we want to go install from zip, install zip from SD card because that's where we placed it before. Choose a zip from SD card and navigate to wherever you stored it. Here's mine and we'll go ahead and say yes. Alright, it looks like we were successful so we're going to reboot the system not into recovery, just a normal reboot and see what happens. Starting to look a little different. Here's the Cyanogen Mod splash screen. And there we go. First boot took a bit, but it looks like we're ready to go here. Everything's loading up. And just for proof, we're going to go to settings and about this phone and here we go we are now running Android 2.3.4 gingerbread uh, with the cyanogen mod